What's good my fellow Natiba Slayers? In today's video, it's all about fishing. This is gonna be your ultimate fishing guide, which is gonna teach you how to make fishing a hell of a lot easier from the jump. I mean, you're gonna be catching fish left and right. Where to get fishing data to make catching the larger fish less of a hassle. All the different fishing locations that I found so far in the game, the best bait to use, and the best locations. Let's jump straight into it. So to start things off straight, in order to make fishing that much easier for you right now, tip one, go over to your settings, go to accessibility, and turn on the one tap function. This is gonna make it a one button press for you to reel in the fish and overpower the fish. It's super helpful. I mean, it's pretty cool to play it the original way in the beginning, but once you've caught about 200 fish, you're gonna turn this on. Next, fishing data. Fishing data is the next most important thing that you're gonna always need to update. Clyde is gonna be selling your first little bit of fishing data. Buy it from him, and then catching small fish and medium fish is gonna be a lot easier. From this point, you wanna go back over to Zion. The bulletin board, as well as a guy named Barry, are gonna give you more fish-related quests. Barry is gonna reward you a little bit of fishing data when you complete some of his quest line. The bulletin board is gonna have several fish related quests on it. The first couple of quests is just gonna get your feet wet, teaching you how to catch different types of fish. And then you're gonna unlock this quest right here, which is gonna allow you to get the best fishing data. After you've completed the looking glass and started fishing, on the bulletin board, you're gonna see wife's water tank, an unforgettable fish dish, and fish research. Once you've completed fish research, at this point, you're gonna unlock the best fishing data, which is gonna make fishing a lot better. Moving on from here, you can buy the advanced fishing data from Clyde once you have a couple of more fish points. And then the fantastic fishing data, you can collect that after you've caught about 10 to 15 fish. Now that you know how to make fishing a lot easier for yourself in all the locations where you can get fishing data, let's get you some amazing fish locations. You have 807. You're gonna go over to the plaza entryway. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is fly into 807, use the telephone to teleport over here. Make sure you hop down. Completely ignore these enemies. Climb up this ladder. Hop the wall. take out these enemies over here and start fishing. The wasteland has two fishing spots for you. One of them is gonna be the wasteland plant. You're gonna be able to catch fish and a lot of nuclear waste here. You're gonna to wanna to come straight to the junkyard supply camp and travel this way. Take out these enemies and go straight into the plant. The Wasteland Cave, which is over to the western part of the map, As soon as you enter into the wasteland, go ahead and jump across this path. If you've unlocked the chest on the opposite side, then you're gonna be able to have these drones so that you can quickly travel around this area. So you wanna hop across, jump over here, take out these enemies and enter into the safe haven.
Then travel back to Zion. In between the Wasteland and Zion Bridge, you're gonna see a fishing area. And of course, the Oasis. The Oasis has the largest pool of fish in the game. It's gonna be where you get majority of your fish. But you're gonna have to go to the other fish locations as well in order to fill out your fish log and get enough fish points to be able to buy advanced and fantastic fishing data from Clyde. Now, Eidos 9 is also another location that you can catch a lot of fish. I haven't gotten there yet, so I'm really excited to get there. When I do, I'm gonna add a link into the description below so you get to know all the different things about that. I just wanna thank you for making it this far in the video. And I would really appreciate it if you smash the like button and consider subbing to the channel so that you don't miss out on more. But let's keep it moving. So now that you know how to make fishing a lot easier for yourself, you got yourself fishing data, let's talk about bait. There's different types of bait in the game. You have the strange bait, which is going to catch a lot of rare fish or random items like boxes, sturdy boxes, fancy boxes which have crafting materials, gold, and some other cool things in it. You have small shrimp, which can catch all the small fish in the game. However, sometimes you get super lucky in certain locations and small shrimp can get you rare fish. It's pretty amazing. You have the ringling insects, which are gonna get you medium fish. There are fish slices, which is gonna get you large fish. The special bait is gonna get you gigantic fish. And the fantastic bait is gonna get you the jumbo fish, the largest fish in the game and the legendaries. The higher tier fish bait you use, the better chance you have of catching the more rare fish. But you can still get lucky with RNG and use small shrimp and ringling insects to catch almost any fish out there. It's just going to be a lot easier. If you're farming and you want a specific type of fish, you should probably use the bait for that tier. The one request that you don't want to ignore on the bulletin board is going to be, where is the fantastic bait? This is going to send you down the last fishing quest line, which is going to require you to catch 20 fish, speak to Clyde. He's going to talk to you about fantastic bait. Then you're going to go over to Roxanne. You're gonna buy the Fantastic Bait information from her. This is gonna give you a passcode to open up a chest, which then is gonna get you the Fantastic Bait. Once you have the Fantastic Bait, you'll be able to catch the largest fish in the game and the legendaries, and you're good to go. The two best fishing places that I found so far in this game are 807 and the Oasis. The Oasis has the largest pool of fish that you're gonna find in the game, and 807 has a lot of the rare fish that you're gonna need in order to get at least 20 fish to get fantastic bait. Now, if you're more interested in where you can find specific type of fish, check out this video right here. I literally caught all 25 fish and have a full guide on where to catch these fish and what bait to use. All right, let's talk about some more valuable information when it comes to fishing. You can go into your settings Go over to fish and you can see the log of every single fish that you've caught in a game. So there's three different tiers of fish. You have the one star, the two star, and of course the three star, which are the legendaries. In order for you to catch the legendaries, you're gonna need the fantastic fish data so that it makes it a lot easier. And you might wanna go into the settings to accessibility to make it a little bit easier for yourself if you're struggling. So now that you know the different tiers of fish, you can actually click on a specific fish that you like and figure out its size, how many times you caught it, your personal best score, as well as its favorite bait, just in case you forgot. If you wanna see all the different fish that you caught, come over to your bag, go over to the fish tab, and this is gonna show you a log of every single fish that you have and how many you have of it. Now, with these fish, you can go over to Berry and sell these fish off for money which can be a pretty cool way of making money if you need it. There's not too many things that you need gold for in this game, but a great way to farm up a little bit of money and get some materials or nano suits created, you can actually do a little bit of fishing, come over to Barry, talk to him, 
go into his shop and luckily they have a select all function where you can sell all the fish you have in your inventory so that's a pretty cool game loop that you can do going to berry selling off for some money then taking that money over to sister's junk and getting some crafting materials to get the things that you need let's go back to Clyde and see all the different things that you can buy because he sells a lot of pretty amazing items so if you haven't unlocked fishing and you're not at the great desert yet the main story quest you're looking for is going to be the abyss lavorier quest now this is going to give you access to the great desert but once you get here do not finish this quest line this is going to be a point of no return which is going to send you down the main story path and lock you out of a couple of areas including zion so as soon as you got this quest and you head over to the great desert you're safe from there you can do all the side quests in the game grab all the cans and all the nano suits that you want and then continue on when you're ready but now that you know what quest to look out for let's run back over to clyde and see what kind of things he's selling and if you're looking for this drip right here this is going to be your reward that you get as soon as you catch all the fish in the game now just for some extra information inside of the oasis there is a chest right over here and inside of that chest is this nano suit yes the cybernetic bondage this drip is crazy it's one of my favorites and it's one that i'm using in a lot of my videos recently however in order to unlock that chest you're going to need a passcode the passcode to that chest is found over on the western side of the map over here there's going to be a building that you can climb up the side once you push the button and enter in the building you're going to see a body that has the password for you all right and just in case you needed it clyde is going to give you a bunch of information about how to catch fish about the different fish in the game fishing points about the fantastic fishing point which is actually right here and hopping into his shop of course you can buy all the different fish baits from him but you can also get the sp initializer you can get vit coins micro drives micro motors and micro coils from this man right here so if you're trying to farm up some of these and you need a whole bunch of them this is a great way to do it micro drives sell for one point of fishing score micro motors sell for two points and micro coils the things that you have to farm this guy right here the most annoying enemies in the game drop for four fishing score i've stacked up six thousand fishing points already so this is easy to farm up take over the digger to get anything and everything that you need last but not least this is a great place to get some cheap wb pumps as well as sp initializers if you need it but I hope you found this video helpful and if you did go ahead and smash that like button for me and consider subbing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips tricks guides and a whole lot more for stellar blade this is your boy emma emsons hd but now though i'm out of here